Our food is fueling a crisis. Coming up in this video, I'll show you how what you eat affects our climate. Do you have to go vegan to save the planet? Or at the very least, can Meatless Mondays help? I'll look at the truth behind these claims. Our weather is getting more extreme and unpredictable. And the large amounts of carbon pollution we're adding to the atmosphere is making things worse. Shockingly, about a third of all climate warming gases are linked to food. So amazingly, what you choose to eat for dinner can actually get traced back to what kinds of gases were emitted into the atmosphere, how did that impact climate, and through that, how we're seeing long-term trends in changes in weather patterns. Most food-related climate pollution comes from agriculture and land use. Animal-based foods like meat and dairy are the two biggest culprits. Beef production requires vast amounts of land. Farmers often create new pastures by cutting down trees, which releases the heat-trapping carbon dioxide stored in forests. Fertilizing feed for these animals emits nitrous oxide, another climate warming gas. And nitrous oxide is nearly 300 times more potent at warming the planet than carbon dioxide. Now, farmers use it to increase crop production, but crops only take in about half of the nitrogen they get from the fertilizers. The rest runs off into waterways or gets broken down in the soil and is then released into the atmosphere. Lastly, when cows, goats, and sheep digest their food, they burp out methane, a potent climate pollutant. And all of this pollution rises into the atmosphere and traps in heat. 14.5% of greenhouse gas emissions come from industrial animal agriculture. And that's because of the inputs that we have to add to create that food. It's the distance we have to send those products. Everything we do has some impact on the planet. It's simply the case that animal products have a higher environmental footprint, including climate change. One study found that replacing 50% of meat and milk products with plant-based alternatives would cut this pollution by almost a third. Producing plant-based foods requires fewer natural resources, less water, less energy, and is less taxing on the climate compared to animal-based foods. So eating a meatless diet can reduce the pollution that drives climate change. Vegan diets have the lowest carbon footprint, but if you just can't imagine giving up meat, well, there's another diet that has a little more wiggle room while still helping the climate. Brian Cateman coined the term reducitarian and is the co-founder of the Reducitarian Foundation. For me and my colleague who created this term is that for a lot of people, the idea of cutting back on animal products or going vegan is intimidating. And we really wanted to create a positive and inclusive term of moral worth for adding more plant-based foods in one's diet. And so someone can cut back on animal products by pursuing Meatless Monday, where they don't eat meat on Monday. They can try weekday vegetarian, as the founder of that idea uh, said, nothing with a face, Monday through Friday. Or you can try Mark Bittman's approach, vegan before six. So for breakfast and lunch, you have vegan meals, and for dinner, it's your choice. But the idea is that meat consumption doesn't need to be an all or nothing premise. In the U.S., beef consumption has been steadily falling, and options for plant-based protein have grown. That means there are a lot more options if you're trying to eat less meat. The trade-off here is people have to find a way to enjoy life and then live in line with their values. And one way of straddling those two poles is to try to make a concerted effort to cut back on animal products. Now, that can be 10%, it can be 20%, or it could be 100%. But every single plant-based meal we have on average is one that is more environmentally friendly than one that's derived from animals. One study found that eating animal products in moderation still helps the climate. The study showed that a vegan diet has the smallest impact on the climate, but a vegetarian diet that includes eggs and dairy helps the climate almost as much. Another diet that scored well? It's called the Climatarian Diet. 
A climatarian looks at the, the carbon intensity of you know, the, the products that they're choosing and they shape their diet in that way. A powerful way is if meat and dairy consumption is high, then a shift to maybe a more plant-rich diet can have a significant impact. This diet puts the weight on eating foods that have a low impact on the environment. It's understanding how foods are produced, processed, and transported. Any of our food choices impact the environment. If I buy an organic strawberry that was grown in South America and it gets shipped all the way up here, even as a vegetarian, I'm making choices that have climate impacts. So not being a vegetarian, you can absolutely still have a positive impact on climate simply by understanding where your food is coming from. The climatarian diet is predominantly plant-based. Fruits, veggies, legumes, nuts, fish, and whole grains. One restaurant chain is even promoting climate conscious eating by putting climate labels on its foods. A carbon label is usually calculated using something called a life cycle analysis. And that means that it is calculating the total greenhouse gas emissions associated with every step of that product's life cycle, covering from when the land is used to grow the food all the way down to when that food ultimately ends up being used or even wasted. Just Salad was the first restaurant chain in the U.S. to display the carbon footprint of its menu items showing diners each item's environmental impact. Providing the carbon label right alongside that nutrition information really weaves together the story of everyday health and sustainability. And I think we've already seen a number of restaurants take on carbon labeling, especially in the U.S. and definitely abroad. It's really heartening to see, you know, other companies starting to carbon label their menus and finding different ways to make it actionable like Just Salad has to really engage with this information and understand it and, yeah, make it actionable. Saying you are what you eat is now taking on even greater weight. I think people recognize that there is a real impact from food. And so when you're making choices, that is an expression of what it is that you care about. And I think people are recognizing that more and more and are trying to align their values, let's say, in the context of climate change, to eat foods that are producing fewer greenhouse gas emissions. And I think that's a, a really great thing. And I hope that we see more people making the connection between climate and food uh, in the in future. So you don't have to go totally vegan to save the planet and Meatless Mondays do help. Just know what you're eating, your food print, and the impact it has. Choosing foods with the climate in mind will actually help take a bite out of global warming. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel.